Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to do this Halloween makeup look. It has spider web. The spider web is optional. I just added it at last minute. And this bat eyeliner with orange eyeshadow. I'm very proud of myself. I think I really did really good because um, I'm really bad at eyeliner. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy. So I'm starting off with the eyes, and I'm just going in with the P. Louise base and blending it out with the brush. Now I'm packing in a dark orange shade from the James Charles palette. I'm packing it in in the crease and all over my lid, making sure it's as vibrant as possible. And now I'm just blending it out. Now placing the lighter orange shade in the Jim Charles palette on top of the dark orange shade and blending that out. Now going in with the clean brush, I'm just blending those two colors together. Moving on to the face, I'm using the Rose Deep Hydration Face Cream. Now applying the Revolution Pore Blur Primer. Now using the Fenty Beauty Foundation and blending that out with a brush and going over it with a beauty blender. It's very good coverage. I have a lot of pimples on my chin and they really red and then I just go over it with the foundation and it covers them. And now I'm applying the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer and then blending it out with a beauty blender. Now using the Fenty Beauty powder foundation that I accidentally scratched with my nail, I'm going to set the areas I applied my concealer on. Wait, oh, you guys can say hi. Look at right Hi. Here. You see how weird this looks? Like, put me right here. Put your hat on and you like, short, your head, short hair. How rude of you. Yeah. Now going in with the contours that the blushing neutrals palette has and contouring my face here i'm trying to contour my nose i still need some practice because i'm really not that good at it but it turned out pretty good here i'm taking the little face sponge and blending the nose contour out I applied some of the e.l.f. concealer on the middle of my nose and just blending that out on the sides and in the middle. Now I'm applying the blush from the exact same palette I used for my contouring. And now I'm using a highlight from the same palette. Now that the face is completed, I'm moving on to the bat eyeliner. Here I have an eyebrow brush. I'm applying eyelash glue on it and pressing it together so it can be as flat as possible. For the black eyeliner, I'm actually using an eyeshadow. Black eyeshadow from the James Charles Morphe palette. And I am starting off in the middle of the eye and sort of dragging it out, going a little bit upwards, but you just want a horizontal line. Once you have that horizontal line, you want to start with the bottom of the wings. So to do this, you just have to drag it inwards and go down. So you start at the end of the line. And then you go, you drag it inwards. And then you just drag it down. And then once you have that downward position, you just go upwards to make the second part of the wing. I'm so proud of myself. I hate doing eyeliner, but wow. Now I am filling it in. And once you fill it in, it looks so nice. Like, everything comes like, it's all complete. Now spraying the Milk Hydro Grip Setting Spray and pushing it in with the sponge. So I did decided to do a spiderweb the last minute, but I don't think I did it too correctly. 
Uh, maybe I should have used black instead of white. But a spider web is pretty easy. You can just look it up and just draw it on, you know? Um, but I suggest this makeup look without a spider web or with maybe a black spider web so it pops out more. Now I'm using a black Maybelline New York gel pencil liner to put on my waterline so it connects with the black bat eyeliner. For the lips, I'm using a Sephora gel lip liner in the shade The Nudist. Then applying a Sephora lip gloss over it. And that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed because I know I did. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Bye!